Okay, hello everybody again. This is your host Vic, uh, bringing you these United States, safest cities by state. And today we're talking about the great state of Colorado. We're gonna start again from number 10 all the way down to number one. Please remember to subscribe, leave a comment, and a like for your growing channel. We need the most support as possible. Okay, we're gonna start with our number 10 in our list in the state of Colorado, and that will be the city of Erie, Colorado. Erie, Colorado, my bad. Erie, Colorado is located east of Denver. It's the Denver suburb. Uh, Erie, Colorado has a total population of 25,233. The violent crimes here, their violent crimes here is at 25 out of 100,000. And the non-violent crimes here are at 256, 258 out of 100,000. The most common crime in Erie, Colorado, I'm sorry, Erie, Colorado is larceny and burglary. Erie, Colorado is a growing town located in Boulder and Weld counties. Like many older Colorado towns, Erie, Erie's roots are in the coal mining industry. Despite it, this growing area is committed to preserving the beautiful natural environment around it. Uh, Erie, Colorado, Erie, Colorado sits at 56.33 below national crime rate and at 63.45 below state crime rate. So not bad at all. Okay, we're now going to move to number 9, and uh, some some of you might have heard of the city before, it's called, uh, it's called the city of Carbondale, Colorado. Carbondale, Colorado, it's uh, in the south southeastern part of the state, it's a small town, and it has a population of 6,882. The violent crime rate here is at 7 out of 100,000 people, which is extremely good. And the non violent crimes here are at 57 out of 100,000. The uh, most common crime here is larceny, car theft, and aggravated assault. 63.79 below national crime rate and at 69.7 below the state crime rate. Surrounded by mountains and natural trace, Carbondale is located in Garfield County. In, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to say Eastern Colorado, it's actually Western Colorado. The town's population is small, but there is always something to do hiking, visiting hot springs, and participating in vibrant arts and cultural scenes. Okie dokie, now we are moving to number 8 in our list, and that's going to be Johnston, Colorado. Johnston, Colorado, it's uh, north of Denver, and uh, it has a population of 16,490 people. The violent crime here is extremely low as well at 9 out of 100,000 people. And the non violent crimes are here at 222 out of 100,000 people. Um, Johnston, Colorado uh, sits at 45.46 below national crime rate and at 54.36 below the state, state crime rate. Okay, now we're moving to number 7 Eden, Colorado. Eden, Colorado has a population of 5,355 people. It's a very tiny town. The violent crimes right here is at 5 out of 100,000. Um, the non-violent is also extremely low at 38 out of 100,000. And uh, it's actually good because it's at 68.74 below national crime rate and at 73.83 below the state crime rate. You can see it's a small town, it has a little bit of everything, it has food, it has places to shop in, and it has a pretty nice looking, decent downtown. Okay, now we're heading to number six, and that is Fort Lipton. Fort Lipton, Colorado has a population of 8,273 people. The violent crime here, right here is at 16 out of 100,000, and the non-violent is at 78 out of out of 100,000. It's a small town in Willow County. Uh, Fort Lipton is known for being a safe place as, uh, as well as a port. Community gained its name from a trading post built in and it built by a Lieutenant Lancaster. Lupton is in the mid 1800s. Alright, so Fort Lupton sits at 61.41 below the national crime rate and at 67.70 below the state crime rate. So compared to the previous cities we talked about, Fort Luton is pretty safe. So I highly recommend this location if you ever want to move to Colorado and want to be in a safe location. Okay, now we are moving to number five, and that will be Louisville, Colorado. Uh, Louisville, Colorado 
has a total population of 21,545 people. And as you can see here, it's located northwest of Denver. So it's one of the outskirts of Denver. Louisville has a violent crime, crime rate of uh, 2043 out of 100,000. And uh, non-violent non -violent crimes are at 93 out of 100,000. The most common crime in Louisville is car theft and burglary. Louisville is, uh, uh, sits at 75.33 below the national crime rate, which is pretty good and at 79.44 below the state line rate. Okay, now we're heading towards number four, and that will be Millie Ken, Millie Ken, Colorado. If I'm pronouncing it correctly. Millie Ken, uh, Colorado. It has a population of uh, 7,238 people. Uh, located in Will County, Will County uh, was um, from number 16 to number four on the safest city. So it seems like it has become, over time, it has become very safe. Okay, so this uh, location uh, has a history of uh, perseverance going uh, from its level of vehicles in the 1800s. That's uh, so a booming talent that finds itself on its size and diversity. Uh, so, this location is a very small town, as you can see, it still has a few uh, on paved roads here and there. Uh, you know, you get to uh, enjoy the open, open space. Uh, let's look at the houses. Uh, Millican sits at 79.56% below the national crime rate and at 82.89% below the state crime rate. Not bad at all, guys. And the violent crime here is at 3 out of 100,000 people and uh, 35 out of 100,000 people. So, hey, if you want safety, you want to have, you know, you have, you have your family here embraced and, and growing, this will be the place for you guys. Alright, now we're going to number 3 in our list and that will be Sherry Hills Village, Colorado. Right, let's take a look at Sherry Hill Village and what they have, it has to offer for us. This uh, city is south of Denver, so this is in the Denver outskirts of Denver suburbs. It has a population of 649 people. It has a zero violent crime rate. I mean, what? I can't beat that. And it has uh, 47 out of 100,000 in non violent crimes. The most common crime here is mostly in contact for zero violence. Uh, there's a few non violent crimes here and there. Jerry Hills Village sits at 72.85% of the national crime rate and at 77.28% of the state crime rate. I mean, being so close to the Denver area, this is not going to work. Alright, number two on the list, we can go ahead and go down to Windsor or Colorado. I want to go to the Colorado, the points of Colorado, which is north of Denver, way, way north of Denver. Windsor, Colorado, with a population of more than 26,000 residents. It's Northern Colorado Town, the most popular city in our list. Um, and here from a 20th century contributor to the community's growth. It may no longer be a main attraction. Windsor still prides itself on its green industry, ethanol production, and interline manufacturing. If you're going to do that kind of stuff, you have experience in that job, and at the same time, you want a safe city to go, this is the right place for you guys. One here is only six out of one hundred thousand. Most of them have a lot of fun. They've got one hundred sixty-three thousand. Windsor sits at seventy-five point eleven percent of the national crime rate, and at seventy-nine point six. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so now we're heading to number one on this. We're heading to Frederick, Colorado. Frederick, Colorado is number one. Number one on this for the reason. As you can see here, the map is north of Denver, so it's outside of the city. Um, Frederick is a small town located in one county north of Denver. The town takes its name from the father of three women who incorporated in 1907. Originally, as a coal mining community, Frederick owns its history with an annual miners' day celebration. Although we're going to talk about this, uh, the safest cities in Colorado, which making everybody knows, the FAI has stated that the property crime data may be underreported. Nonetheless, Frederick, Frederick is currently and certainly a safe choice for any looking to move to Colorado. And the population is 13,000, 13,390. Um, the violent crimes here are, are only at 100,000, and the non violent crimes are at 3 out of 100,000.
Yeah, Frederick, Colorado sits at 99% below national. Yeah, 99 below the state line. So this city, this town, or you want to call it, seems to be nice, decent place, as you can see. There's a nice, decent downtown. There's nice looking homes and it's safe. You cannot beat that. And a couple of minutes or an hour away from Denver. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to move uh, now to uh, closing the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video. And uh, the next state on our list uh, will be Connecticut. And uh, thank you for watching. This is Vic, your host speaking. This is these United States. I hope you have a good day. Thank you.